Hello guys, today I'm just going to talk you through some of the features on this CQ Control 32 uh, control board. This is from the infrared John Deere 6920S model. So I'm just going to explain what the different outputs do. So let's start with the simple things. Here's a little rotary switch here. And basically all that does is select your channel by uh, changing the resistance value into these two pins here so that's fairly straightforward that there and um, the next thing beside it I should say the battery connection is over here so this is the side of the uh, control board opposite to the battery and it's the correct way up at the minute so this is how you'd find it inside the model uh, beside the rotary switch input there you have two wires coming out they are for driving the motor here so there's our drive motor there and right beside that is a little chip that is the motor driver chip that they use. It's a little um, motor driver chip on the spec sheet it says for toys and for cameras. So that's why they chose that little uh, single channel motor driver chip. Then if we move towards the battery connector over here we see our clock crystal here. That's uh, only 4 megahertz, so it's only a quarter of the speed of the Arduino. But Realistically, the Arduino is probably a bit fast for what we really needed to do. But beside the clock crystal then, we have three wires coming out for uh, one side of the model. I don't know whether it's the left or the right, but it's the rear lights at the back, which are a single indicator and a single uh, tail light. So your tail light will come on when your headlights come on, and the indicator obviously comes on when uh, you switch on the indicators. Then... Beside that again is the opposite side of the tractor, so the three wires to the opposite side of that. So those are the wires between the battery connector and the clock if you're trying to identify those on your own model. So if you need to know which wire is which, the one that's closest to this edge of the PCB here, so you can see the edge that had the rotary switch on it, that very first wire, that is the ground for your indicator LED. Then the wire in the middle is the positive, and the next wire, the third wire in then, is your tail light on that side. Then when you get to the next connector, the first wire is the other indicator. The middle wire is again the positive, the common positive for the two LEDs. And then the final wire, or the sixth wire in, is the other tail light. So that's fairly straightforward there. So then if you move up from the tail and indicator light wires you get these wires here which are the infrared receiver they're at the very back of the board here just beside the battery connector um, nothing too complicated there so if we move in you have now got the servo connections so there's three um, servo connections and each servo takes four wires as we've seen before so the first one is for a front link servo I think so if I bring up this control here so here's a servo this is for the front link and you get full control of the servo so the full 180 degrees control of this servo which I presume you'd use for a front link I, I'm guessing that there's a CQ control 32 model that has a front link servo but I don't know for sure so that's the servo connection that's closest to the battery the one in the middle then is the connection for the rear link servo and it has a very limited range of motion so only maybe 15 degrees or something I'm not sure it's not very far but it's enough to raise and lower the link servo when you have it in the standard configuration so that's okay there now the final servo in I'm sure you've no surprise what that is has to be obviously the steering servo so you get a fairly good rotation from the steering servo too. You don't get full 180 degrees from the steering servo, but you don't usually need that with your model uh, tractors or any other type of vehicle. The steering normally only maybe 40 degrees of motion is all you need. So that's all the servo wires, and just behind the servo wires then, there's a final three wires uh, coming out here, and they go to the headlights. So we'll say on the lower side of the board, you have a ground connection for the first LED, then a common positive again, and the ground connection for the other LED. 
The resistors for the LEDs are taken care of on the board so you might be able to see them in there or over here. So that's why you don't see any resistors on the LED PCBs inside the model. So that's just a quick walkthrough of what the different uh, wires and outputs on the um, Control32 main controller board does. So maybe that'll help some of you to upgrade your models. In the next video I'll be showing you how to add brighter headlights and brighter indicators. Should be pretty straightforward, we just need to add a transistor in to handle the higher current. If you have any comments or questions about any of this, uh, let me know below the video or head on over to the forum. And that's pretty much everything I have for today, so thanks very much for watching. Mm -hmm.